Who is killing the world economy? The young French trader, the panicky central banker, or the civil rights icon celebrating a birthday? Next on Global Pulse. A comparison on how this story is being covered worldwide. The U.S. stock markets were closed today for the holiday, but there was plenty of selling, wild selling overseas. Well, I blame Martin Luther King, and I don't mean to, to, um, to make any insult here, but you guys were on holiday today, and uh, while we usually have a boost of liquidity when Wall Street opens, all of a sudden that necessary liquidity wasn't there, and as a result of it, there weren't really a lot of buyers around, and then the only relief we really got was at the closing bell. Is it possible that a single day without America's financial might could destroy the entire world economy? The Daily Show found someone who thought so. The hard task is to find the silver lining in the global economic mushroom cloud that has spread on fears of a United States recession. Neil, how is the global economic recession a good thing? America matters. Try as the world might to displace the U.S. as the global powerhouse we still are, and I think it is killing them. It is killing them to admit that we matter because the truth is few respond to a sell-off in France. They do respond to a sell-off here. USA! 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 But around the world, concerns focused on the effects of the economic freefall at home. South Asian Newsline featured newly cautious investors. Gains made by Sensex in the last two days have not been able to wipe out the psychological and economic bruises suffered by small and medium-term investors in the initial two days of the bloodbath in the markets. Shiv Kumar, a professional, lost most of his hard-earned money in the steep downfall that the share market witnessed. The English language Russia Today, however, reported that oil income would protect Russia. The Russian markets are caught in a worldwide plunge that started in Japan and extended over the rest of Asia. Analysts say the falls are likely to continue, although some note that Russian markets are well placed to withstand the shocks. The likely impact on Russia is relatively limited, actually. Russia is economically pretty dependent apart from one factor, and that one factor is the oil price. If the oil price falls, then obviously that does have economic consequences for Russia and also financial consequences for Russia. The U.S. Federal Reserve quickly stepped in and lowered interest rates. But Germany's Deutsche Welle didn't think it would help. And the U.S. Federal Reserve slashed interest rates by 75 basis points. Yet fears of a recession remain, and not just in the United States. But if there is a recession there, what impact will it have on the world's major economies? Workers at this textile factory outside Beijing are making cycling jerseys for the U.S. The Chinese economy is forging ahead despite the U.S. slowdown. Should a recession in the U.S. weaken growth within China, the domestic market has the potential to balance that out. Made in China, for China. By the end of a bad week, the other shoe dropped in Paris. Le fraudeur serait cet homme, un courtier the perpetrator. A 31-year-old broker who has been working in Société Générale in the market for five years. This employee, the bank insists, knew the internal control operations so well that he managed to hide the loss. A gigantic loss, 4.9 billion euros. So how could one man have managed to play with one of the most important European banks without being discovered? On the website of the French newspaper Le Figaro, an economist goes even further. For Ellie Cohen, the broker is a scapegoat. Société Générale, he declared, chose to blame the poor guy to cover the accumulated losses caused by the American real estate crisis. The French bank's sudden search for credit to cover its loss, combined with the lack of ready cash on a U.S. holiday, and a market already flooded with bad mortgage debt, created a perfect economic storm. For Global Pulse, this is Aaron Coker. This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Link TV is the only US network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries and diverse cultural programs. Programs which connect you to the world.